up guys and welcome back to my Newcastle United career mode. Up next we've got a match against Everton at St James' Park. I'm very, very excited for this one. As you can see on the tables down there, we're sitting in the 10th at the moment with 28 games played on 39 points. Now we can move up to uh, 9th with a win coming up just behind Aston Villa who were in 8th. Um, Aston Villa with a game in hand um, on Aston Villa which one is on top of 5 points. Because if we could be moving up on the table in the next, next match, I'm just going to advise you a couple of changes that have gone through um, in between the episodes that the predominantly of which is the change of formation. So I'm going to show you that very quickly and we'll take a look and see what changes I've made. What I wanted to do is I wanted to actually bring in Remy Bayer and Seam Dion as players who were both playing well, both in form of one to bring them in. So I've just gone and done for a sort of 4 3 2 1 formation. So Lacazette now plays the front of the nose, but I mean, Remy Bayer and Seam Dion. Behind him, we've got Minis Zoko um, uh, on the left, and then you've got Hampton off on the right, changing their face into the middle left, and also on the field there. But other than that, you know, very much the same team as previously, very, very happy with that. Hope you can get a good result here. A little bit of a change in formation, not quite sure what to expect, but you know, with, with Remy Speyer and Team Dion behind Lacazette, we've obviously got opportunities to score some. Some goals, you know, to create chances. Really, I can obviously come on to, um, to, to obviously, you know, make those kind of things. Uh, very, very excited for that one. Welcome to EA yeah, Sports no, live Adam, coverage Adam, of the Barclays Adam, Premier League. Yeah, I think that. Your commentary team, team of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me, and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. The match today is Newcastle United, and they play Everton. for this game is Ian Lowcroft. Colton. Attacking well here. It's one back. Coleman. It's Everton who are hoping to play with the sort of edge that gives them results even against the odds. It's difficult today. It's not really favourites or uh, underdogs here. Pretty evenly matched. Oh! Well, he was completely exposed then, Howard, but he got to the ball and saved his side. Baines. Well, you have to say good anticipation there to read the direction of the throw-in. times for the home team, couldn't they? 11 points from their last five league games. It's not bad at all, is it? When you consider the, the opponents that they've faced, they'd be pleased with that. Darren Gibson. And the attack coming now from Everton. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Yeah, you look at it, there's no doubt about it. He went too early there. CM Dion. is in. Good defensive play here. He's got space. Could it be? And it's in for Newcastle. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. to the middle looked a bit panicky from the defender that's a nice pass a headed pass to a teammate he stumbled a bit there but has managed to stay on his feet Ben Arthur here's De Jong and a quick return pass there's the ball in. Got good hands, this goalkeeper. That's a good save. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. What a chance here. Oh, really well hit. And the keeper did well to get down to it. It's a 
Gibson. Jake Giotte. CMD off. Ben Arthur. The defender dealt with it. Oh, puffing out his cheeks there, he was worried. They're on a great run, the visitors. Nigh perfect, not quite. They've drawn one game of the last five, they've won the other four. Yeah, one of the four teams in this division and uh, a team to be feared, I think. Leon Osman talking about hanging up his boots. What's your take on that, Alan? Well, I mean, he's had some poor periods, but, you know, I still think he's got something to offer uh, this team. You know, you're a long time retired and he needs to think carefully. Here is the shot. It's not easy to hit the target in these conditions. No, it's a wet ball, it's a wet surface, and he seemed to skid off his boot there. Right, it. great opportunity. In with a chance. Still in play here. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Well, we've got the visiting team coming here with the confidence of three points that they've taken from the siders at home today in the uh, match between the two earlier in the season. They'll want to make it six points out of six, won't they? Yeah, they will. It might be a little bit different, obviously, coming away. It will not be as easy, I'm sure. It's looking good, this move. Dealt with by the defender, the cross. Remy Kabala. Alexander Lacazette. CM Dion. Good movement to get to it. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. He went over his ankle quite severely, but he's carried on, so I think he's going to be OK. Cheers, Jeff. Brilliant opening. Santon, Alexander Lacazette. Very good passes. This team are passing the ball beautifully. He's got to cross it. Stretching there, the defender. He has cleared. Everton at the moment, they're behind, but they've got a corner. Try all right. And the header was at the goalkeeper and a straightforward save. I think the keeper would have thought he'd been busier with that, but instead straight in his arms. Well held by the goalkeeper. Free is signal for half time and it's 1 0 here. Well, here we are at half time, and the main topic of conversation is a sad one really the injury. Yeah, it is sad, and uh, I have to feel, Martin, that the conditions played a part. Um, if it wasn't so wet on the surface, maybe he wouldn't have gone to ground and his momentum. Start of the second half for you. Alexander Lacazette. Has to be a away team. A couple of really significant absentees. Yeah, yeah, one or two players that uh, the manager would ideally want in his side. But this is this is football, Martin. In the modern day, you get these injuries. Osman. with De Jong. Jake Giotte. 
ball with the Everton player. Sissoko is there in support. Santon. Alexander Lacazette towards Ben Arfa. This is the chance. Could it be? Now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. Sizoko! Very close, had the crowd on his feet, but it was too high. Well, the opposition will be warned about that. They won't be able to get away with that again. Pity for them, they couldn't score. Well, it's a tough place to visit this, but the away team today come here in good heart, Alan. They've won their last two games. Oh, they should be in good heart. As you say, it won't be easy, but uh, they're in impressive form. Well, here comes a substitution for the away team. Into the face of the opposition. Alexander Lacazette. It's a chance! Oh! Just wanted to swing his wicket foot at it, and he did. <laughs> now, a little bit embarrassing for him, and uh, he needs to work on that. Two new faces about to be introduced here. Barry. Gibson. He's got the ball, and it's with Newcastle again. Alexander Lacazette. Well, he read that passage of play, was able to make the interception. Now Barry. Leon Osman. Coleman. To Barry. It's Everton's turn to attack. It's their ball again, through good intercepting play. Opportunity here! Oh! And that was a real chance. Any decent connection, and I think it would have been a goal. Yeah, just needed to keep his head down, eye on the ball, and it would have been job done. Jake Giotte. Musa Sissoko. Brilliant football from this team. Sizoka. Possession in the midfield area. Barry. Everton get the advantage from the referee here. It's good that the referee can pull the play back without infringing the laws here. Left it as long as he could, no advantage. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Bruno Kone. Wants to get at him, and he's got past it. Gone in strongly. He's played that nicely with a, a dink upfield. Leighton Banks. Now Barry. Ball in the middle of the pitch here. Remy Cabala. Sheikh Giotte. Davide Santo. Barry. CM Dion. Alexander Lacazette. Barry. We can have it back. This is what we love about football, isn't it? We've got the team leading, the fans cheering, and the other team giving everything to try and spoil the party. Well, the way this uh, away team are pushing, I can see them getting an equaliser. Nicely lined up for the set piece specialist here with this free kick. Oh, 
referee might have to adjust the wall here. They're on the move in the wrong direction. Oh, he did pretty well to get that close from there. I can't believe he actually tried a shot, but uh, he made the keeper work. Now Barry. Antolin Alcaraz. Here's Magidi. Everton on the attack. Darren Gibson. I must say he's looking tired. They might have to take him off. Leon Osman. He's got to score! And he will be a judged offside here. Close, but uh, got to get the movement timed a little bit better. Ben Arthur. Remy Cabala. Santo. Running out of time. Still running for the ball, both teams. Remy Cabala. This could be what they call the insurance goal, couldn't it? To uh, make sure of the victory, to turn a one goal lead into two. And there's no time for recovery, really, if they were to get the goal. Able to make a good interception. Antolin Alcaraz. Good, strong challenge. Magidi. Coleman. One more opportunity to get an equaliser. It's risky for the goalkeepers to try and catch the ball these days, but he's caught this one. And that's the end of the game, and it's 1-0. They've held out to protect the win. The goals win them the game, but the defenders made it possible. Deservedly, I think, man of the match. Broke up a lot of players, um, made a lot of last ditch chance, and actually scored the winning goal as well. You know, it's not something and now we hand over, over to Mike West in the studio. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Chelsea, three. Tottenham Hotspur, nil. Newcastle United, one. Everton, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Manchester City with 65 points. In second, Manchester United with 63 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In third, Tottenham Hotspur with 60 points. In fourth, Chelsea with 59 points. In fifth, Everton with 53 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In sixth, Liverpool with 50 points. In seventh, Arsenal with 45 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In eighth, Aston Villa with 43 points. Bottom of the table, Chris and watch our scene in the next episode. Don't forget to click subscribe for all the latest videos.